Welcome to week 11. So excited that you're still here and you're still working out with me. This week is a flow workout, so much shorter than our max out workout. So I'm so proud of you for continuing to try that max out workout. It's long, have to leave, leave a lot of time for it, like 45 minutes of your day. I don't expect you to hit it multiple times a week, maybe not even every week, but try it. Keep coming back to it. Challenge yourself. Flow is going to be a lot shorter. Um, you're used to it. It's four chunks of poses that we do together or vinyasas, the flows of the poses together. Um, but today's meditation is very special. I saved it until the end. We are going to go through like a tactile, a touching meditation of our seven, in yoga we call them chakras, our chakra, you may have heard that before too. Um, but they're just the energy centers of our body. And as we study this more with like Western medicine, so not necessarily um, something that we can't tangibly touch, which we know that we do have the faith to understand things that aren't tangible, but sometimes we like to see the evidence. If you look at the spots on our spine where we tend to um, like have ner big nerve connections, they follow these areas that we've talked about forever um, in our body, these energy centers. And if you've been through mom boot camp, you know that Hannah teaches a meditation. This is kind of a cool story. Hannah didn't study chakra. She didn't study these energy centers like we do in yoga. She was just really led and guided through the seven names of Jesus um, and kind of found these places on her body that she liked um, to touch to keep herself focused on her meditation. And it ends up, it's the same kind of area. So if you've been through mom boot camp, having that and this together is going to be really, really meaningful. And in fact, at the end of these 12 weeks, if you haven't been through mom boot camp, y'all, that is your next step. Um, that definitely is your next step. But um, something that um, I do in mine, where I do the touching, is going to be meaningful no matter what. So if you haven't had that secondary teaching, don't worry. You're going to get a teaching today, and you're going to absolutely love this meditation. So let's get the workout started so that we can get to the best part, right? That final relaxation. All right. We have to start with our warm-up today. As always, can you take a big breath in? Oh, let's do one more. Big shoulder roll, breath in. Make it take up the whole body. Little heel lifts. So remember, we can be a little bit more gentle with our body on flow days with this warm-up. We still have a warm-up. I still think it's important to get yourself moving because we stretch right away with flow. So we've got to warm up. Make it a little march. Seated or standing, team. Seated or standing. I'm at the point where I like to do my warm-up standing. Maybe you're there too. Just a little extra, a little more energy for the body. Today, plant the feet for reach and pull. We're planting the feet for reach and pull. So we're not going to march through it. Now lateral bend, arms come up and bend to the side. They can stop at the shoulders if you want. Arms stay coming up. We turn it into a twist. Up, twist. So see a little pattern? We're just linking everything together instead of stopping with that march in between. Back to the top. Roll through the toes, roll, roll, roll. So standing lets you get a little deeper stretch for the feet. We're just gonna link all these together again. Nothing big. Now make it a march. Plant the feet, reach and pull. Any swimmers out there? I kind of feel like I'm doing butterfly. Yeah? <laughs> you can do it. Two more. Reach. Lateral bend.
Make it a twist. Still coming up. Twist. Now little heel lifts. Back to the very beginning. Roll through the foot. Put some pressure into those toes. Stretching out the bottom of the foot. Very nice. Big shoulder roll. Seated or standing. We're going to start with arm and leg. Balance. Stop it. So if we're seated, leg goes forward. Arm comes up. If we're standing, leg goes back. We do the first one seated, the second one standing. Reach long. Elbow to knee, pull it in, long, perfect. Two more, as close as you can get. Last one. Now abduction, adduction are out and in. So abduction away from the body. Adduction, adding the legs together. That's how I remember it. Nice and slow and controlled. One more. Come back in. Put it down the opposite arm and leg. So I'm doing this one standing, opposite side. Find your balance. You can go arm out. You can even take arm up for a little challenge. Elbow to knee. Tap. Reach. Keep it going. One more. Now let's open and close. So we go out. In. Lots of balance. You're doing awesome. You can sit down if you ever need to or tap the back toe down. Need a little help. Come on, see one more. Out and in. Good. Sitting down, leaning back. Boat pose. Option is to lift the legs. You're in a little balance. Want to make it harder? Raise the arms overhead. Find a place where you're a little shaky. You want to be shaky. Breathe through this balance. This whole series was really big for the core. And if you don't believe me, lift the legs off the ground or try. Maybe we just do one leg at a time, right? Maybe you're tired, you need to put them down. Maybe you need to bring the arms down, but we're not going to stop. We're going to keep holding. Maybe arms down, one leg up. Maybe you switch. You've got lots of options here. Tighten the belly. It shouldn't hurt the lower back. Almost done. Plant the feet, sit it up. Woo, y'all, that was challenging for our first jump out the gate there. You might be a little sweaty. Let's set up warrior two, seated or standing. So standing, seated, arms long, looking out at the fingertips of the arm that's forward. Arms reach long, so we're just holding, we're not flowing today. Drop the front arm, reach into side angle. So we want to go for a line down the side of the body, not leaning over or leaving the hip out of it. Drop into the hip, side angle. If you want to make it more difficult or if you just need a challenge, try to lift that bottom arm. Make sure we're not relying on it. And to continue this challenge, you can just reach that hand to me. That's beautiful. 
seated or standing. Releasing the arm, coming back into warrior two. Back arm relaxes, reverse warrior. Again, if we want to test ourselves, we just lift that back arm. Make sure we're not relying on it. I'll show you standing, right? Lift the back arm. We can also tuck it behind us. It just kind of went behind my back. That's all I did. Seated or standing, don't want to fall off that chair. <laughs> reverse warrior. Let me show you what reverse triangle looks like standing. I just straighten my front leg and lean back a little further. I can even put my arm back down. Reverse triangle. Going there. Seated, we take our legs straight out at an angle and lean back. We can also support here. So it's kind of like the legs from star. We're just leaning to one side. Reverse triangle. Now for full triangle, we take it all the way over, cartwheel it down to the other side, hand stays down. If we were standing, same thing. Hand stays down, arm reaches up, triangle. No matter where you are, let's look down at that hand. So we're looking down at our hand on our front leg and hover just an inch or two. Hover. So from here, hovering up. And remember, we don't just lift the arm to hover. We act like we're being lifted by our hand up top, all the way off that leg. Good, bring it in, let's switch sides, setting up. Warrior two, opposite side. Side angle. Get that long line. And then feel free to take your options if you want. You don't have to. Warrior two. Straight into reverse warrior. Again, taking options if you want. You know them by now, so just going right into your most challenging pose. Sometimes we don't spend the same amount of time on each side because I ask you to go right into a pose that's more challenging. So you're getting the same amount of work, even if it's not the same amount of time. That's kind of cool. Reverse triangle, so we just straighten that front leg and lean back. You can put the hand down if you need that support. When we're seated, we were here, and we just straightened the leg. You kind of lean back with the other the hand. Cartwheel to triangle. Supported. Looking down at our hand and hovering to finish. Hover to finish. Engage the belly. Coming back all the way in. Let's bring our legs all the way together for chair pose. So if we're sitting on a chair, we're pushing as if we're trying to rise out of the chair. If we're standing, we sit as if we're sitting back in a chair. Beautiful. Now I want you to take one arm, cross it across, reach back for a twisted chair. Let me show you from the side what that would look like. Here, cross, reach back. It's a twisted chair. Let me show you seated. So I still have the energy forward in my feet. Thighs are active. Cross, look back. So we should all be in twisted chair. Coming back to center. Stepping that leg the way we twisted, remember? We cross that arm across. That leg goes back for warrior one. So from here, step back standing, heel is down. Takes a little pressure off the front leg. Heel is up in the back leg if we're seated. Big exhale, humble warrior. You've done it before.
Let me show you standing. Bring it up, cactus arms, open the chest, little back bend. And here comes the change, that leg that's back. You're gonna step through, challenging your balance with a knee hug. If we're seated, we're here, we just scoop that leg and pull it into our chest doing our very best to get a knee hug. If we can, we can reach all the way to the shin and hug tighter. Even standing, we come all the way around the shin. Ooh, that's a challenge. And hug tighter. Ooh, sometimes we're a little tight for that. Oh, let's go the other way. Sitting down into chair, seated or standing. Cross the arm across. Reaching back, twisted chair. Come back to center, that arm that crossed across, steps back, warrior one. When we're seated, the heel is lifted. Exhale, humble warrior, dive forward, belly to thigh. Bring it back up, cactus arms, open the chest. You ready? Step it through, hug the knee. It doesn't have to be in front of the shin. It can be behind the leg. You can even be like, hey, can't grab it today. But look, it's up. It's up in the air. Shake it out. We've got one last flow. We're gonna start with a balance. See that our standing tree pose, and you can absolutely hold on to something if you need to. So let's try one side. Down or up. Now today, I'm gonna let you pick it up if you want. Go as high as you want to go. What we don't want to see in standing is that we've lost it in the hips. So standing up out of the hips as high as you want to go, as long as it's not on the knee, and I'll show you seated, remember, is connection. Connection is key. It can even be down here where just the heels connected. Connection is key. Let the leg fall open. Now pick the arms for you. Are they down, out, up, together, the heart, I don't care. Challenge yourself. Do something you haven't done before. Let's trade sides. Shake it out. That was a nice long balance. Other side, you decide where you want to go. Tree pose. Any variation. This one's a challenge for me, having everything all close together in one straight line feels unstable. I want to kind of sink, but I'm not going to let myself. I'm going to stand up taller. Challenge yourself. A challenging version of tree pose on this side. And release. No matter where you are, have a seat. Deep stretch to the hips, crossing one foot over. Now pigeon pose, up high or low, but this time the connection's not the key, but the open knee is, right? So it doesn't have to be like tree where you're working. Let it kind of flop open. Pigeon pose, beautiful. Arms come wide, the leg that's over, that arm goes under, we start with just a hug, Elbows lift, stretching the back.
release the arms. Can we take it into a lean forward, belly to thigh? Beautiful. Feet come side by side. The leg that was over, that arm reaches up for the shoulder blade, opposite arm under for cow face arms. And we're just trying to walk the hands close to each other. Now, if they find each other, we link like this. We hold them on. But you don't have to. Don't stress about that. Just find yourself in the movement. Find your breath. Let your chest open. Let your chin lift. Think about an open front of the body. That's the whole point of cow face pose. And release. Opposite leg comes over. Pigeon pose, remember low or high, your choice. As the leg that's over, that arm goes under, we hug, we lift the elbows. And then we lean forward for pigeon pose, opening a little bit more in the hips. that foot down, leg goes over, that arm goes up and back, trying to find it with your opposite arm. Beautiful. And I'm going to scoot forward just a tiny bit so that you can see what's going on in meditation today. Let's bring the music close so I can make it quieter and louder as I need to. I want you to start with your hands down by your seat. So on the ground, or maybe on your hips, something that reminds you of the base of your spine. You can even sit on your hands if you like that. Sometimes that's kind of interesting, a tactile feeling. Let the eyes close, I want you to breathe. And we're just gonna focus on the areas of our body that we're touching today. That's it, it's that simple. And at the very base of our spine, you guys, this is the area of passion. It's the area, the very base of our energy. So as we're honoring this area of our body with our hands here, I want you to think about what are you passionate about? What brings you joy? What brings you energy? And just imagine yourself doing just that. hands move to our belly and I just like to overlap my hands on my belly. Y'all, this is the area of confidence. Isn't that fun? Typically a place where maybe we're not so confident, right? If you were to walk out on the beach in a bikini, sometimes that's like, oh man. But I want you to imagine that. I want you to imagine this area, maybe, maybe even standing naked in front of a mirror, you guys. But imagine that even when we have the tendency to get critical, oh, I would never do that. No, you're there in your mind, you're there and you're confident. This doesn't mean you have to do that. It's just a matter of being confident in our skin and loving our body. Knowing that our body is designed perfectly. Bring your hands a little higher. It's like the base of our rib cage, like right. Um, they say like solar plexus. So right on your ribs. Continue to take a breath in. This is the area of creativity. 
So what are you doing to ignite those flames? What are you doing to bring creativity in your life? What do you enjoy doing as a hobby that you haven't done in a while? Let yourself picture doing just that. Let the hands travel up to the center of your chest, to your heart. To love, to the place of love, we know what the heart stands for. And team, here's your challenge today. Picture the face of someone who has challenged your ability to love. Someone who you're frustrated with. And I want you to send them as much love as you have today. hands to your throat and I just do a gentle touch on the front of my throat breathing in a way that allows you to feel your breath in your throat this is your voice and notice how these things start to build on each other right what are we passionate about what are we confident in where are we creative? What do we love? And how are we expressing that? So linking the physical and the mental with our voice. How are we expressing that? And just think of a time recently when you've stood up for something that you believe in or you've stepped out and supported someone that was struggling. Let yourself imagine that knowing that you do have a voice and you're using that voice for good, not only for yourself, but for others. And then finally, we take our hands, not finally, we have two more seconds. We take our hands to our forehead. And this is where I'd like for you to go back to your mantra. So this is our third eye. This is how we see ourselves. Go back to your mantra that you created before, the I am. And I want you to pick one of these areas that maybe you struggle. Maybe you struggle being passionate about something, or you struggle with confidence, or you struggle with creativity, or you struggle letting your voice be heard, right? Being loud, not necessarily volume, but being vocal. So think of one that maybe you struggle with. So maybe mine's confidence today. And I want you to say in your head, I am, and then fill it in with what you feel like you're not doing so well. So mine would be, I am confident if I'm not feeling very confident. Right? I am confident. Maybe even say it out loud. It's totally okay to talk out loud right now. I am confident. Say it again. Say it to me. Say it louder. I am confident. Your word might be different. One more time. I am confident. And I want you to raise your arms straight up in the air. And I want you to imagine that all of us who are doing this journey together, all of us are sitting in a room together. And imagine, we just did this workout together. I want you to imagine all of the energy that we put out into the room. And all the people that have done this workout before and after have put the same energy out into the world. I want you to reach up and grab that energy, put it down into your heart. And you let your eyes go. Guys, stay balanced. Stay honoring each of these centers. Stay finding your passion, your confidence, your creativity, your voice. But stay balanced, Mama. Love you guys. I hope you love that meditation. And I'll see you on week 12 for our last workout together.